This Von Dutch bus was uh, at every movie set that uh, Steve McQueen ever did, with the exception of it was never in French Guiana in South America for uh, Papillon, but it was on site at every movie that he did, including um, the Reavers, he built the Winton Flyer, uh, he would build guns and he would build motorcycles and he would build whatever they needed on set right out of this bus. It has a lathe and a, a drill press and a bandsaw. And, all kinds of hand tools and engraving and all that. And he would build the uh, whatever was needed by the movie company for the filming. Um, he did it right inside. And he had lights up on the top of it and um, they would light up this whole area and people would congregate around the bus at these different movie sets. It has a sticker on the window that was reproduced uh, for Steve McQueen's movie set. It was called Solar, uh, I guess it was Solar Studios. And we reproduced that for the, we have one on the side window from the one, the original one that's as you walk in the bus on the overhead. You can see all that stuff when you go inside. This is a this is a restroom or escape door window. He's got the restroom inside, and this window is a reproduction that I did. Um, the original sold for ten thousand dollars, and the gentleman was kind enough to send me all kinds of photographs. He actually sent them from the back side, so I had to kind of do everything in reverse. But uh, it, it's, it's got all the same characteristics of the one that Dutch did. It's got the flying eyeball, and I, it's all measured visually so that it's ex, as, as exact as I could get it. It's got little veins, air, uh, they, they do this with a, what's called an air eraser. And it's got this thing, it, looks, it always reminded me of a piece of pineapple. But, and then the wings are uh, shaded on the downside, each, uh, each feather. Uh, it's the old flying eyeball, and that's on the restroom door. The front of the bus had multiple dents, not so many bullet holes, but these six up here, uh, I painted them to look like they were just put in, but they were done probably 25 years ago. Uh, Dutch shot those in himself in, in one of his moments, and he did it right in front of a good friend of mine from Vegas, a striper named Bob Spina. And Bob remembers when he did that, so that's why we left them in. Um, this is the original rearview mirror, the outside rearview mirror. We've refurbished it. It's ready to go. Um, the uh, marker lights on this bus, all four of them, the two amber in the front and the two red in the back, were from the Rosa Parks restoration. Uh, that was a 1956 bus. The only difference was uh, the bezels that hold these lights in are cast iron and the Rosa Parks bezels were aluminum. Okay, we're rolling. This is a sign that we heard of and from several different people that Dutch used to put out when he was available to do pinstriping. We've never seen the sign, but this is Alton Gillespie's rendition of the hand-painted sign. The four little bent pieces of metal on the corners were on the bus. So we made the sign to hold that in. Um, he hand painted it and then we've, we've aged it and weathered it on an old piece of plywood. And uh, this is Alton Gillespie's rendition of what the sign would have looked like. Hand painted by Dutch in, in a style that he used to use. He also did the lettering on the other side. He laid it all out and I actually finished the lettering. And, um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to explain. There was a lot of bullet holes, um, probably 30 high-powered rifle bullet holes through the side of this bus. There was a crease that ran through the door all the way down the side. And we took it all out because I know this is going to be scrutinized by all my peers, number one, but uh, by everybody in the industry. Um, I was told by Dick Odette, who was uh, Dutch's one of his best friends and drinking buddy when he was at the river bottom in Tempe uh, that I made the bus too nice. So I left a couple of dents in the other side. But you can see how nice and straight we have this side 
there were bullet holes all through the side of the thing. They went through the electrical panels. They shot through the windows. Um, this, this had several bullet holes right through here. But now everything's clean, everything works. We built this panel. Uh, a friend of mine that builds race cars built this panel for me as he did several others on the side. Some of them are Zeus fastened, which I don't believe Dutch did any Zeus fastening when he did this, but for the sake of cleanliness and to wrap it up the way he would have done, and that's what this whole thing is about, is doing it the way he would have finished it. Um, Dick said I made it too nice, so we left two dents on the other side, and I'll show you those later. That's about it.